how I and our team decides how a game could be successful, first of all, I really believe it's all about the people. The, the people behind the games are really what creates the complete magic of whether a game becomes successful or not. I, that, that's number one. I think the second thing that uh, is very, very important too in, in the process of all this is the fact that uh, they're open to different ideas because gaming is becoming so global now. Uh, it's not just games that are made here in Argentina or within La Tom, but now you know we love to open the door up to places like Asia, uh, even places in the Middle East and places uh, in even North America and Europe. There's a number of different types of games that are out there uh, and users out there that I think uh, need to be considered when making a game. So. I think those are some of the things that we look at when we try to choose a game or look at a game. Does it have the people behind it and the passion behind it? And secondly, uh, are we open to making this game, not just a regional game, but something that's going to be a, a global product? I think that gaming is becoming more integrated every day uh, in a way that intersects not just people, but cultures. Uh, all these things are actually becoming a, a daily part of everybody's life. And gaming actually is a great media, it's a great vehicle where people can learn about each other, people can actually interact with each other, people can actually get to know one another. All these elements are there for gaming and I think that's, that's a tremendous thing because you're really bringing people together uh, through gaming.